So guys, this is my streamer setup, and I get a lot of people asking me, how did I do the Grogu Tower and the wall? I made them myself. Let me show you how it's done. First, I'll find an old lady that doesn't want their old wine cabinet anymore. Then you get some uh, 120 tape, sand off all that varnish, so the, the varnish that you need to put on will stay. First layer of wood stain has gone on to it. Now I'm just going to wait for this to dry and do another one. It's in, guys. Now, if you can kind of see, everything is still everywhere, so bear with, but... It's in the corner. I did actually end up doing three stains uh, because if you notice that and my table in here, it's actually black. So I wanted this to be very dark to kind of match the table. And if I've got this right, we'll find out. Well, you should probably know because you'll see the future video. My table should line up to the bottom so that door still open. So as you can see, this is quite dark in here. So I'm going to brighten this up with some uh, some LED lights from Govi. I had a link in the description, by the way. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drill a tiny little hole right here and link it around the sides, around the top, and then down the back. Now, there is actually a bulb here. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use it yet. It's one of those old ones, but I may just get like a pink bulb or something to go in there just to kind of go like go against the other light kind of thing. But um, yeah, I'm going to go on that now. The Grogu is in. You can't see him too well. He is in there. And then we have the jellyfish glowing, but I ain't gonna lie, guys. My OCD is going crazy right now. Look how perfect, right underneath the lip, the table fit. Like, it, it just fits literally perfect. Like, I kind of did the mouse in my head without having these together, and now it's together. Also, right underneath here, this storage, it actually opens and misses this, so I could put stuff in there. <laughs> How mad is that? So guys, here it is. It has arrived. Now, I know this sounds ridiculous because you guys already seen what it looks like. I haven't yet though. I'm still experimenting. This is, obviously, you got to remember, this is like behind before time and before I've seen the finished result. But I kind of know in my head I've planned it all. So what it actually come in this is obviously acrylic or perspex, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's very expensive, right? But light travels through it. So I wanted to originally put the LEDs along the edge and get the light to travel through. And then when I put the soundproofing on it, it will come through, right? But very expensive so for a sheet that like ones that will come in that were about two to three hundred pound per sheet i for a much cheaper solution i'll show you now now this is actually sheeting that you put on greenhouses and uh, you know like for like the roofing or all that this was like 20 pound a sheet i will leave the link to anything i put in this video in the description of the video so if you need any of it just look down below in the description there'll be links for it all this was 20 i think it was like 2163 a sheet right so i got two of them for like 40 50 pound compared to I was going to be paying like £600 for two sheets, which will obviously weigh a lot more. And it's just, yeah, a much cheaper option. Plus, there's, there's a reason behind this madness. If you notice in this diagram, the little acrylic walls, which means the light should bounce between each one and continue. Now, I do apologize for the bad lighting, maybe the echo. I just moved into this house, so I haven't got all my my stuff set up. I, you, were, you were seeing me build all this as I go along, and then I'm kind of building myself as I go. You're on the ride with us. Now, I've done a little bit of testing. You can kind of already see what's happening because there's loads of little slits between this, right? It's going to reflect every single time it hits one of those. There's a kind of a clever effect I want to do with it. So let me show you. If I, what I'm going to do is if you stick these down, can you kind of see, can you see that effect on the camera? Hopefully you can. I know you'll be able to see what it looks like eventually. It kind of goes through and hits every single Every single, like, let's call them windows, or like bars or whatever, and it reflects each time, and it kind of gives this, um, like, crazy effect. So in my head, what I want to do with the soundproofing, I kind of want to put the soundproofing through the middle, and have a little bit of that lighting on the edge, which you guys already know what it looks like, and I reckon it will look cool in the end. And this is all going to be immersive for the stream as well, man, because that, that could be Alexa uh, controlled. Uh, so when you guys send a certain amount of donations, you should be able to change all of this in my streams. So you guys may be wondering, why are you using the tape when there is a sticky adhesive on the back? The reason is the actual LED lights themselves, I need them facing to towards the plastic then there's no sticky side in that one so i'm using the tape over the top so i can uh, get the face that way so they will reflect through the plastic and continue onwards now one thing i want to point out you can see these gloves to the left hand side these sheets are extremely sharp they are super fine so they are really sharp on the edge i did actually cut my finger as i was trying to open them out of the package so I use these gloves to move them around. Right now I'm on top of it, so it's okay. But please make sure you get some work gloves when you handle these things. Um, be safe. Woo, it is done. And I ain't gonna lie, guys. Honestly, that this fit perfectly. Like, let me show you to a T. From that end, the, the light I'm on about, perfectly round right to the end. Now, 
I got these separate. I got these lights way before I got this, right? And I kind of just did the math online and that they came together. I love stuff like that. Anyway, uh, let's turn it on and have a look. Oh my God. Oh my God. Does that not look like a portal? Like I could jump into that into another dimension. Like, yeah, that's going to be sick. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Got to carry on. Now, this part is very time consuming. Uh, I had to put double sided sticky tape on every single one of these uh, hexagon soundproofing boards. As I said, I'll put a link below uh, to where you can find them because I wanted these ones specifically. So, because these ones are not too thick, they're thin enough to let the light through, uh, and they didn't want it to be too heavy because obviously the sheet is quite thin. So, I didn't want it to weigh it down too much. Uh, now, I use uh, one of the soundproofing tiles that i'm not using at the time is a little reference against the edges when i'm putting it down so i know where to leave gaps because eventually i will have to go along and cut along the soundproofing boards there's another reason why i wanted some thinner ones to go along the edges just to fill those little gaps that are missing uh, but like i said this takes a long time to do this so i will speed up the process just so we can get to the end and then we can move on okay there you go and those ones are now down so and look, th these aren't moving these are these are st sticking on it now you'll notice all the little bits around the edge i've left that perfectly so if i cut that right across the middle it will fit just just in these little gaps um, so now I've just got to cut a few of these and then I'll do the same thing, put the tape in it, stick it around those ones and go from there. Now this part is very important. You may have noticed up the top, I put the diamond side at the top there because when I call all of these, I can cut directly down the middle of these. If you notice along the edge, it's a perfect middle. Just these last few ones, guys, all you need to do with these ones, put them along the edge, put a little marker line of where needs cutting. That is it, cut along the line, simple, done. Little diamonds along the top and the wall is finished. All I did is when I go to my setup, I had a little light behind it. So it was a different light color to the one that was actually on the wall to give it a little bit of contrast. Check it out in my setup, see what you think. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game